Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, coach and trailer sales, Paducah, Kentucky. Check us out online at chasecoach.com. Over 200 pictures, full description, um, lots and lots of uh, information there at chasecoach.com. Oh, and the price. The price is also at chasecoach.com. I've got one of the nicest Renegade Classic 45 CBF models I've ever laid my eyes on, and I've sold a bunch of these. This coach is loaded up with options that I've never seen before. Uh, the build sheet was was lengthy on it, okay? The gentleman who ordered this coach new has actually had, um, I think this was his third or fourth brand new Renegade Classic, so he knows the do's and the don'ts. He knew what to add to them, what he wanted from just uh, years of experience of owning new coaches. Uh, he had something come up and um, had to sell this one, so he called me. He uh, just very simply said, hey, are you interested? I own the coach outright. Here's what I've got, um, and I, we bought it. So here it is for sale. He did not trade it to me. I just bought it from him. It's a 2023 Renegade Classic 45 CBF, which has the two full baths and can sleep up to eight people. That's right, can sleep up to eight people in this coach comfortably at that. Uh, it's got a 600 horsepower Detroit DD16 under the hood with a six-speed Allison, the 4000 series. Oh yeah, the big boy transmission in it. Three slides, as you can see, two here on the driver's side and one on the passenger. Now, the previous owner of this coach owns a body shop. And let me tell you, you can tell when you look at this coach. He said that he done some type of special buffing paint correction when it came from the factory and then he spent six thousand dollars on ceramic coating and he told me that was his cost okay six thousand dollars on this guy probably some of the sharpest paint i've ever seen very clean lines on this one you can see how they painted the um the edge of the slides and the you know the lines just all flow together that red that is a new jeep color called firecracker red um, so he actually had a coach like this that had the red was more of a maroon. And this one, he said he wanted to change it to more of a kind of more of a cherry red. So he went with firecracker red, which is a Dodge color. All right. So 40,000 pound hitch, as you can see there on the back, uh, the, it's already got the glad head and fitting. So if you're pulling a trailer with air ride or air brakes, we got you covered already built in. Uh, it's got your outlet back there for Voyager cam. So if your trailer has a backup camera on it, we can plug right into the coach and pull you right up on the dash there. Check that out. Just one of the many options that a lot of dealers don't add. Uh, it's got the hitch camera and then you also have the regular backup camera up there. 45 foot overall length, again, three slide out, 600 horse, and the big six speed fully automatic Allison in it. Dual Gerard patio awnings, as you can see, the, the nice ones, lots of storage. So I'm gonna take a moment and open up all these storage bays, and when I come back, we'll look through those together. 43 inch Samsung TV with the, I believe, yep, JBL audio sound bar to go with it. Keyless entry, blackout kit, which includes the black fuel door covers, black steps. Lots and lots and lots of custom options on this one. Oh, one, two things that I do not want to forget to tell you about is the batteries and the insulation that this coach was built with. Stand by, I'll be right back. All right, here we go. So I've got all these storage bays opened up. And as you can see from the video here, clean as a pen. I'm not going to say this coach is brand new, but it could be advertised as brand new. All right, first compartment back is going to be the engine battery. So there's three batteries up on the top of that battery tray, and those go to the engine. Um, and then you've got some of your electronics. There's a little solenoid up in here that like connects the engine alternator to the house batteries. Um, and oh, the little black cap there you can see right underneath that silver uh, rod that's holding the batteries down. That is an air chuck fitting. So this coach does come with an, um, an air hose. And if the engine on the truck is running, you've got 120, 130 pounds of pressure right there. And there's the hose laying there in the battery compartment. So next compartment back has our 
3,000 watt inverters over there on the left. That's the big blue boxes to your left. And then it also has the solar charging controllers, kind of down below that the uh, box closest to us. You can see another little blue box. That's the solar charging. So this coach has uh, three 175 watt solar panels up on the roof of it. Over here to the right, you have what you see right there is $13,000. $500 as an add-on in lithium batteries, okay, from Dragonfly. So $13,500 in Dragonfly. Those are the Game Changer 3.0s, lithium batteries. Um, and with having the dual inverters on this coach, you can actually run the middle roof air conditioner on the coach without having the generator on or being plugged into shore power. That's uh, something newer that a few of the RV manufacturers have kind of taken on and started doing. But to do that, you have to have a very high amp hour battery pack, and you also have to have the second inverter to make that work. The next two bays is gonna be our black and gray tank. So we've got a 75 gallon black tank, we've got a 75 gallon gray tank, and we also have a macerator pump, as you can see on the black tank. The next one back is what we call our wet bay. It's going to be the location where we have the valves to the gray and black tanks. We have our black tank flush port. We've got our electric fresh water reel. You can see down there on your right. Uh, we have the green valve, which we're, the green valve is st uh, stood in the up position right now, which means if we put uh, water pressure from an outside water spigot to that hose down there in the bottom corner. With the uh, green valve in the up position like it is now, we're gonna take pressure from an outside source and put pressure inside the coach. And then if we rotate the green valve down to tank fill, uh, what that's gonna do is fill the water tank. You've got 150 gallons of fresh water on the back of the coach underneath the bed. Onan 12.5 diesel generator, again, as new as they come. It's got 19, a whopping 19 hours on it, okay? This coach actually also has propane. So uh, as we make our way around to the other side, you'll see it has the AquaHot 450D, which is the hydronic heating and hot water system. But he also added propane. And you ask why? Well, if you ever want to add like an outdoor grill, which we do, we install them. We install Blackstones. Uh, we install Weber barbecue grills, and the last coach that left here, it got one of the pellet grills, okay, from Traeger. So we installed a pellet grill. All that we do in-house, so we can take care of that. The last compartment here on the driver's side has our electric reel, so it's got a 50-amp reel. You press the button there on the right to reel it back up, and it also has the power transfer switch in it. So it's an automatic transfer switch. If you start your generator, it's going to grab generator power. Uh, if you turn your generator off and you're plugged into shore power, it's going to grab shore power. And as we make our way around on the passenger side, we've got storage on the right rear compartment with central vac located up in there. You can plug the central vac hose in here on the outside, and there's also an outlet inside down at the foot of the bed. Big storage compartment back here, which is, so that's compartment one. We'll call this compartment two behind the rear axle there. Michelin tires, only 4,400 original miles on this coach, and they're like new. They don't come any newer than that. 450 Aqua Hot, so the Aqua Hot does run off of diesel fuel, so you're making hot water or hot air in the coach with diesel fuel or electricity. Has the Truma outdoor cooler. Uh, it is dual zone, so you can set this uh, side to the left up here to to freeze a hamburger meat, and you can chill your beverage of choice over here on the right. So Truma, fully adjustable, you can see the digital gauge. Right now, I've got the left side set at 40 degrees, the right side's at 59, but uh, we just turned it on a few minutes ago, so you can adjust those to whatever you want. 43-inch Samsung LED TV in the outdoor entertainment system with a JBL soundbar and then another big storage compartment. So this would be a great compartment to put a grill or a, a, we can do a Blackstone, a Traeger, a Weber, or you could do it back here in the right rear storage compartment. So pretty much takes care of those. I'm gonna make our way inside the coach. A couple of things we'll show you out here. It does have the wide, the, the newer doors on these Renegades are wider, so it has the wide electric steps and keyless entry. And how about that? How many of them have you seen 
that are black. So again, this guy owned a body shop. He was very particular about his color, about his paint lines, and, uh, and his choice of paint. So check out the photos. This thing, I shot some of the pictures at nighttime with the underglow lights on it. Let me tell you, she is a looker, folks. We'll make our way inside, right up the stairs here. I wanna make sure I mention porcelain tile heated floors throughout the coach, dual zone. So you got a front zone and a rear zone heated floors. The lighting around the countertops, you can change the color. It, it actually goes to an app on your phone. So you can change the color or you can just shut them off. I'm gonna leave them on for the video. Actually, I'm gonna shut them off because sometimes with the camera, um, it makes for kind of a, a weird looking glow. So bear with me just a second here. I'm gonna turn those guys off. Oops, wrong switch. There we go, okay. So that gives you a better view of the color of the counter or the uh, cabinets and stuff. Sometimes with that light glowing, it kind of messes with it. But we'll start off here. So on the passenger side is our kitchen area. We've got a large single basin sink, very nice size, probably two, two and a half foot wide. Um, solid service like a Corian countertop maple cabinets throughout very nice construction as always by the folks at renegade we have a samsung convection microwave oven and you know we have people comment occasionally and go man those things they ain't got an oven well this is newer technology so it has a convection microwave oven meaning you can use it as a convection oven where it literally just makes hot air and it'll bake a cake or uh, cornbread or whatever in it or you can actually do uh, a regular microwave with it. Below that, we have a two burner, true induction cooktop, and it is um, like recessed into the countertop. So down here, I took them off for the pictures, but down here under the kitchen sink is all the covers. So there's a set of covers that goes here that makes this flush, and then there's a set that goes over here. Um, on down, we have a Samsung, which is a French door refrigerator, uh, just looks like something you would see in your house. Very nice. Again, I think this coach may have been used once or twice. It looks brand new with a capital B. Up above the fridge, we have the um, little kind of, I guess what I'd call the entertainment in, uh, area. We have a Sony DVD player, and then we have the WineGuard HD satellite control down there and the switch for them. So this coach has in motion and it has the Traveler Pro satellite. So the Traveler Pro is the one that actually lifts up off the roof and you'll see it move around and find the signal. And then the in motion is the satellite that you would run down the road if you were trying to maintain satellite signal while you know turning on different roads and stuff, you would want to run the in motion. But a lot of your channels on like Direct TV or Dish Network, you can't access the HD channels with the in motion satellite anymore. They changed something uh, with the satellite system up in the outer space. So you have to have the uh, WineGuard Traveler Pro HD in order to receive those channels. And again, I told you, the gentleman who had this coach built, this is not the first one. This is probably his third or fourth brand new coach. And, uh, you know, that's one of the things over time that he noticed uh, was just something he wanted. So it has both. I think it was like a three or four thousand dollar option. Up above the cab, we have a 60 by 95 bunk. This is the cushion that actually goes down here for the dinette when we turn it into a bed, but um, it's a 60 by 95. So imagining having a queen size bed above the cab, and that's what you have. Uh, here's another little trick deal. He put a drop down uh, TV for the people up here. So, okay, here's one of the other cool options. Um, so uh, one of the questions I get a lot is, why do the RVs not all have a ladder on the back to where you can access the roof for maintenance or to get up there if you was wanting to stand up there to watch an event or whatever? Well, I don't disagree. Having a ladder on the back of the coach is a very nice option, but sometimes it looks a little tacky. Well, he beat the system here. He had Renegade install a roof hatch up here in the bunk. So all you do is go through this ladder right up to the bunk 
open that hatch and when you do you're on the roof so another very cool option um, up here in the cab very clean it has the new sears seating which has the renegade logo uh, embroidered into the headrest area um, the seating is heated as well and it swivels so if you go to chasecoach.com and look at all the pictures you'll see a picture where i spun the seats around uh, 4,400 miles on the dash, Freightliner, uh, smart steering wheel. It has the safety assurance package. Again, has the DD16 Detroit with the Allison six speed. Uh, your equalizer systems leveling panels up top, and then all the new uh, features on the Freightliner Cascadia dash. You can see the dash is uh, like a glass screen now versus regular gauges. Um, everything is digital. Your regular backup camera is up here, and then the one, uh, if you had your trailer plugged in, is there, so you can actually watch both feeds at once. Very, very nice uh, the way they put that together. Booth dinette that seats four people has um, storage drawers below each booth, and then that center table leaf drops down and creates a nice, comfy bed for two people. The cushion, as I mentioned earlier, the black cushion there goes down here to create the bed. Both sets of keys included, so one set is in the ignition right now, the second set's right there, and then we have all of the original manuals for the Freightliner chassis and the Renegade uh, conversion. Something I failed to mention outside, and I can actually shine or put the camera through this window here, he had an electric shade mounted that goes out over these two big windows. So you can probably see it in the video there, but it's uh, Gerard brand, the same brand that does the patio awnings. Again, another tricked out option that you probably won't see on many of them. Um, it has the sofa, which when you, it's called a trifold. So when you unfold it, it turns into a queen size bed. So there are six people up here. You got two up in the queen size bunk. You've got two in the uh, dinette that converts into a bed. And then you've got two very comfortably there on the sofa when you pull it out into a queen size bed. Our TV is here and it is on a pull out mount. So you pull that little black tether and you can swivel it out and turn it whichever direction you want to turn it. But plenty of room to entertain or take people out on a big road trip, um, tailgate in an NFL game, NASCAR race, classic car show. A lot of these coaches are going to rodeos now. So the rodeo market's really picked up, but D all the above. You can pretty much do whatever you want. Uh, it does have the washer and dryer, so washing machine on the bottom and the dryer on the top. Very nice louvered doors there to go with that. Okay, so that was 246. Oh, I said it sleeps eight people. 2468 actually sleeps 10. I've got to change that in the ad. So this one has the bunk bed. So you've got two above the cab, two in the dinette, you've got two on the sofa two here and then two in the master so this one has the bunk beds in it tvs in each bunk as you can see um, all the window shades have a day and night shade so you uh, retract this one and then under this one is like a perforated shade that uh, gives it kind of a tinted look uh, but doesn't block out all of the uh, the view it is two full baths so across from the bunks we have a bath here mid coach it has a Sandy Marin, which is um, comes from the marine industry, and that's a um, an electric flush macerator toilet, tiled backsplash. Here's another cool feature. Check out that, and I've seen a few coaches with that, but very few. I like that. So uh, makes for cleaning up uh, a breeze. Medicine cabinet, nice cabinetry all the way through. Uh, it does have the solid surface tiled showers with skylights on both. That's something he said he really liked was the skylight. So give you a good view there. It has the um, glass door. So release the little latch there and then slide over. You can take you a nice hot steamy shower in there and uh, not have water all over the floor. Okay, so that's the first bathroom kind of mid coach across from the bunks and check out the king size bed in the master. And I like the way he done the like um, headboard on the uh, this coach. So on the back there behind the bed, the headboard, very custom look. I like the material with the wood casing around it, mirrors on each side. I'm telling you, if you're looking for 
uh, a coach that sleeps a lot of people, very neatly laid out with two full baths. This one is very unique in a lot of different ways. And uh, if, you, if you're if you interested, I can send you the full build sheet just to kind of explain more of what I'm talking about. For instance, this, the TV in this one is a little smaller in the bedroom, but I love the fact of having a window in it, okay? So you got a window here. It is also an emergency exit. I like that about it. Lots of storage, your own DVD player down there in the top left cabinet, as you can see, uh, cedar line closets in this one as well. And then the star of the show, the master bath. Check this out. I'm gonna kind of duck down where you get a good view. So you have another one of the electric flush toilets. Um, again, all the lining, see the red lining? That'll change to blue, to green. Doesn't matter if you're a Green Bay Packers or a Dallas Cowboys fan. You can, you can tune him up in here. You can put whatever color. Small sink, little tile backsplash, more tile back there, and a big shower. Check out that guy. Skylight overhead. Teak seats, that's something I didn't mention earlier. Teak seats that fold down so you can stand them up or fold them down. And then lots of mirrors and lighting and medicine cabinets overhead. So ladies, if you're playing a role in the say of this coach, you're gonna like the bathroom in the back of this one. Lots of room, okay? So I believe that covers it. We're just about out of time. I always shoot for 15 minutes, but it uh, usually runs into 20 or so. I appreciate you watching. Um, sometimes uh, there's just so many different options and things, it's hard to cover them all in one video. But visit the uh, website at chasecoach.com. And um, it's a lot of pictures to thumb through, but over 200 very detailed photos. Um, we deliver nationwide. We offer financing. We... Um, We'd love to help you. We do some consignments. If it's the right unit, we will consign. And we love just buying them. So Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales in Paducah, Kentucky. I really appreciate you. And do me a favor. Share this video with a friend that you think might be in the market. And hit that old subscribe button. It really helps us out. Have a great day. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.